Okay, I'll just sort of get it rocking then. I have some materials, some thoughts I'd love to share. Thanks for the time, guys. Um, so, does thinking about capitalism make y'all want to kill yourselves? <laughs> I'm just kidding around. All right, everything's okay? Um, I'm just kidding around. I did just get on Will Butcher, though. How y'all doing? Okay, so here's the thing about capitalism. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about uh, an income inequality gap about the size of my ass. <laughs> okay, I'm talking about working on average 50 hours a week for a median income that is a, stayed the same since like the 90s while the 1% get richer, y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, it's making me feel bad, capitalism. So I got a little work around. Everyone here is like a huge capitalist. Okay, so. <laughs> These are just some thoughts. I am a camera guy <laughs> in the union. Okay, so here's what's going on. I was thinking, how about this workaround, okay? What if we build a shadow economy, okay, that operates underneath our pre-existing economy, right? Y'all listening? Okay. And what it is, is really just me and my friends um, selling each other art down the river by the creek for hours on end, day and night, every single day. <laughs> Okay, and there are some holes in the argument. Thank you so much, I'll go ahead and address those now. So, okay, how are we gonna survive off of just drawing little pictures and you know, making the coffee latte? So, all right, here we go. How about this? We get a bunch of water bottles, okay? Fruits and nuts to last possibly a lifetime. Um, a lot of prepackaged sandwiches, right? Uh-oh, the only place to get that is the large package monopoly Costco or depending on your region, Sam's Club. <laughs> so yet again, we are backed into the system we just tried to escape. Yeah, so I did read a quote that said, it's actually easier to imagine the end of the world than the end of capitalism, so. <laughs> Technically, this is not a bit, really. <laughs> but, you know, if you get stage time, you can just kind of do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, awesome stuff. New York City's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> New York, I love New York, man, I'll tell you that. It was my dream to move here when I was a little lad. <laughs> and now I live here, twist. <laughs> crazy, right, you know? It's awesome. This is the place where you come to make your dreams come true. There's tons of opportunities for that, you know, to then get rejected by. <laughs> So I've been rejected a lot, but I do not care <laughs> at all. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, but it is painful sort of every second all the way through. <laughs> Never stops hurting really. And uh, I'll tell you this, it can be harsh sometimes. For example, today I got this email, right? Subject line, no. <laughs> okay, pop that bad boy right open, all right? Body of the email is actually just a picture of a guy flicking me off. <laughs> and then I look up at the sender. It's actually from a famous New York City comedian, Pissarat. <laughs> okay. Some of y'all don't know who Pissarat is. That's okay. I'll explain. Pissarat. He's basically this rat. He got like super duper famous about three or four years ago for carrying around a pizza. So he has an overall deal with NBC, not a good look, he does not fuck with me. <laughs> Show business is one wild brother. So, okay. So do y'all believe in God or sort of what's up? What's the vibe? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I wanna believe in God. <laughs> I want to, you know, I want to believe there's something bigger going on here besides me taking a shit and getting a little bit on my hands by accident. <laughs> smell never really goes away. So, I'm the camera guy. So, you know, it's just I want to believe in God, but it's hard, you know, with everything that's going on in this world right now. <laughs> like this, okay, get this, right? The other day I'm walking down the street, swinging my arms, this goddamn economy. <laughs> Okay, and this guy walks up behind me and then I cop his dick and balls. <laughs> Where was God, you know? <laughs> Not there at that moment. 
a little bit busy or something. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was raised religious, but I would say I'm more spiritual now. Okay, so here's the thing. By that, of course, I do mean I have built um, a belief system based on stuff I found on the internet. Okay, so uh, we're looking at tarot cards as a form of healthcare. Uh, astrology memes giving me the acceptance and love my mother never could. <laughs> and I uh, just got into something called intuitive gardening that I think is really going to turn everything around. Okay, something to think about. I'll leave y'all on a little thought. How about, you know, cancel culture's not working, huh? <laughs> Not everyone's gonna come up here and say it like it is. So, these are the thoughts I have. Cancel culture and then we... <laughs> sort of got this trickle down, Reaganomics vibe. I don't really have the time to connect the dots, but I think you guys know what I mean. <laughs> you know? Okay, and maybe, yeah, maybe I'm anti-cancel culture, because as you know, I am on the chopping block about to get canceled. <laughs> I'll go ahead and address that right now. Um, as you know, recently, I had to take a whiz behind the van out on the street because there was no bathroom available. And now a group of squirrels are looking to cut me off, cancel me, dead. You might have seen them outside handing out literature. I want you to go ahead, take that for yourself, read it, and decide what the side of the game you're on. 